I know what you're thinking. This hair is very dirty. You are correct. Welcome back to my channel where I'm being incredibly selfish lately and I'm doing whatever I want to. And I'm having a great time. So I was falling down a beauty hole recently like I do just about every single day on YouTube and I was looking up hair braiding tutorials. And I came across a bunch of tutorials where they're putting in like ribbon and yarn and like other bigger pieces of hair into their hair and braiding it in and it was staying put. And it just like really got me thinking Thinking, why don't we braid other things into our hair? I'll speak for myself. For years, if I didn't have a purse or like pockets, you know, I'd try to stuff stuff in my bra or like in my waistband or like hold things in some places. Why have I ever thought to just braid it into my hair? I feel like hair is an incredibly undervalued resource. We could have been holding our belongings and our hair this whole time. We've just never tried. Or maybe you have. Like, you know, sometimes stuff gets caught in your hair, but I'm talking about on purpose. <laughs> So yeah, I know you've seen the title. I really just want to try and braid things into my hair that are not hair-like, like a ribbon or a yarn, to see if this is a viable option for carrying your belongings. And then be able to access them moderately. But then you can just braid it back in. So the reason that my hair is so dirty is because if I had it like super clean, I think things would slip out. It's got some grip. So here we go. Let's just see what happens. Now for this, you're gonna need your belongings and probably like some hair bands because you have to secure the braid or else your belongings are gonna fall out. I wanna start with something that I imagine a lot of people need but maybe don't have a place for. I'm going to Coachella and I like, I'm not carrying a bag because I have a tiny little bras and outfit. So like, I don't know where to keep my things. Like a set of keys. I mean, trust me, I looked this up on YouTube and all I could find is people braiding like hair-like things into their hair but not so much like their stuff. I seem to have lost control of my braid, but it doesn't matter. So now I'm just gonna secure it with an elastic and now I have keys for hair. Please don't braid, please don't braid. <gasps> okay, maybe this isn't the best method, but let me do the learning for you, okay? I mean, look at how secure this is. I feel like if I just bend over a little, I could drive a car like this. This is amazing and you know it. See, this is what happens when you just think a little. Now I'm free to do my thing at Coachella, and as long as I'm not spinning around in big circles, nobody's gonna get hurt. And my keys stay in place, I'm having a great time, and everything is great. So this was the test. This works spectacularly. Now I'm ready to move on to all of my other belongings to see like how functional I can make my hair as a holding thing thing. These aren't going anywhere. If somebody really wanted to like fuck your day up, they'd like hold this, but hopefully you're around people that care about you. Okay, next thing, right? I'm going to my friend's house. I'm gonna have a sleepover, but I don't have anything with me. So I'm just gonna braid my toothbrush into my hair. So here we go. If you come here to judge me for how dirty my hair is, you can get out! Worst case scenario, this toothbrush is stuck in my hair for forever after braiding this. This toothbrush is biodegradable. I can stick it in the ground or leave it in my hair and it will eventually become one with my hair. So it won't be a problem. Look at that, you can't even see it. My hair is covering it up. I feel like you could have this in your hair and no one would even know that it's in there. People would just think you have like a cool thing in your hair, which you do. It's a toothbrush for later. I mean, look at that! Tight. Keys, toothbrush. I'm on a roll and this is amazing. I just figured out the ultimate life hack. If this doesn't get me into the beautiful beauty community club, nothing will. Next scenario, your delivery driver just gave you your food, right? That you ordered and you're so excited about, but fuck, there's no utensils inside. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What do you have? A dingle hopper of your very own in your hair. Oh, we should turn the fork out though because that's gonna create a problem later when we're doing activities with our friends. And they're like, is your head okay? And you're like, no. <laughs> it's getting stabbed with a fork. And they're like, why is there a fork in your hair? And they're like, you'll be jealous later. I got a fork for later. If you don't, you're gonna have to eat with your hands like a barbarian, not me. I came prepared. So when I was in school, I would just jam a pencil or a pen in my hair. Why just jam it in there when you can fucking braid it in there? Hey Jenna, do you have a pen? 
I sure do. Like this is gonna help you. This is gonna change your life. I give up on that one because there's like a squishy silicone-y thing on there that's making it hard. That one's painful. Okay, say that you're also going on another sleepover and you need not only your toothbrush, but like a nice pair of underwear for the next day. I don't need to bring an overnight bag because I have all of my stuff ready for our sleepover right here. Maybe I should have had my hair like slightly less dirty because this is getting really dramatic over here. Not only is this incredibly functional, but look at how beautiful. Stunning. Like, take my senior picture today. It's starting to feel a little heavy. This definitely feels a little heavy, but it's something I can't handle. Okay, pasta doesn't work. Flip the pasta sideways and try to get it in those little holes. Now imagine this, a whole head of pasta. So by the time you get somewhere and they're like, oh, it's for dinner and you're like, pasta, I brought it all in my hair. <laughs> like I wanna know if you went on Survivor or something, if I braided pasta into my hair, is that really against the rules? Because this is my hairstyle. You can't tell me how to wear my hair and then you're the only one that's not fucking starving. You have carbs, like you're gonna win. Like you can use your hair to hold food. I think it's fucking brilliant. You're on the beach, so you have like no pockets because you're in your bathing suit, but your dog really needs to go for a walk. Like it looks great, it feels great, it is great. I don't need to hold it with my hands. I am holding it with my hair. Gourmet, beachy, come here. Wow, when I stand up, I can just walk in like this, hands free. Now I can like use my hands for all the other things that I have to do while I'm walking. Like looking at my phone, like seeing how many videos YouTube's demonetized of mine for no reason without any notification or option to appeal. Someone actually sent him this collar, but maybe he doesn't want to wear that all the time and I don't blame him. You know, maybe he wants to wear one that says confidence sometime. We're just gonna braid it in your hair. If you jump off the table though, Kerm, it's really gonna hurt mommy, so please don't do that. Don't let your dog pull so that they don't rip your hair out. But other than that, like, I can just about fully stand up and walk him at the same time. The way that I did this one is a little invasive, I'll admit that much, but like, look, I can see in the dark. Whatever, this one didn't really work out that well. Function, beauty, technology, all in one beautiful hairstyle. I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything, but this might be the best idea I've ever had in my whole life. I fucking hate everybody here, so I'm just gonna plug my headphones in. Oh, would you look at this? Look, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're in my hair. I don't wanna listen to my music anymore. I just rip my headphones out. They stay right there. Even if I unplug it from my phone, look it. It's like a cool hair accessory. We've had the secret the whole time. We just didn't think of it. I mean, maybe because it's stupid, but it doesn't matter. The option is there. Ow, ooh, okay. Just be careful when you're like sitting and then you go to stand up because it it will rip your hair out. You still want to get a little turnt, but just a little. I mean, this one, this one's like a level five braid. If braids had levels, I'm here to party. Get turnt, just a little bit. I bet you could also just like totally make it through airport security like this because no one can even see it. It's, not, it's like it's not even there. No, I should take my headlamp out. This was a fail. I'm gonna leave a little bit of hair out because we want it, we want to look cute, you know. When you order Taco Bell and they forget to give you all of your hot sauces, you just have your own 24 seven. Now I can open my garage door from anywhere in the world and anyone can steal my bike at any time. Okay, next scenario, you're going to a party. You just wanna look like you're in celebration mode. So I'm, just, I'm gonna braid this into my hair. You are the party. <gasps> Ooh, okay, what if you had a whole head of balloons that were all filled with helium and you braided them all with your hair and then it was enough to lift you up off the ground like you did with marbles, but you got lifted up by your hair and then probably like your scalp came off or something. It's so fucking dark, wow, I hate myself. Just like this video and leave me a comment that says you would like it if I did a whole hair full of balloons because I think that that is a fucking next level idea. <gasps> Ow, this one hurts. This could last you a couple days. I'm ready, I'm ready to go camping. I want to make this so I can keep my Mophie in my sweatshirt pocket and have this charge my phone so that I can use it like at face level like this. Smart hair, I have fucking smart hair. Look at that, I'm ready for fucking anything. I'm literally the smartest person I've ever met in my whole life. This last one I think is a really great idea, so I want it to be surprised and I will show you when I'm done. Just give me a second. Ta-da! 
I'm a human Christmas tree! I mean, is it stupid? Yeah, but you know, I'm just really excited that I figured out that you could just braid things into your hair. It's just a liberating idea. Like, I, I don't need my hands for anything anymore. I have everything in here that I could possibly need for today. I know everyone watching this right now is just fucking jealous. Hot! Do you wanna come see my hair? Oh my god. <laughs> What's all funny? Is that toilet paper bunch up? Yeah, it's for like... Ready to wipe? Ready to wipe. So you just take a little and use it. Like I'm plugged into an outlet right now. This is incredibly functional. Is that a maker? Yes. <laughs> it's like the fanny pack of hairstyles. Okay, now... Yeah, okay, it's silly, but it fucking works great. You're like Go Go Inspector Gadget, but... I am Inspector Gadget. This is Go Go Gadget hair. There you go. Here's some hot sauce. Things are surprisingly easy to take out. <laughs> what have I done? Time to get fucking turk, baby! This is exactly why TSA pats your fucking bun down. If you ever go through security with a bun, they fucking squeeze that shit. They're looking for nips. <laughs> you, you. Oh, 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 oh. This is how I like to get things untangled. Just do this for long enough. You will win. I thought that was gonna take a long time and it didn't. So this proves me right yet again that this is incredibly functional. 10 out of 10 experiment. You can braid things into your hair. Like I know someone sent this to Kermit but I feel like it's kind of nice on me. It suits me. All right make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. I hope you feel just like informed and inspired that you can just braid whatever you want into your hair. It's been life-changing for me and don't be surprised if you see me with a bunch of shit braided in my hair from now on because it's incredibly functional. It only hurts a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Um, I should probably wash my hair. Hell yeah!